Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're doing another unboxing video and today we're having a look at this. This is Tarcom's 135th scale T29 E3. Uh, it's a US heavy tank and I'm looking forward to building it. So I thought I'd do an unboxing video before I do build it. So yeah, let's start off by having a look at the box. As you can see here, got the US heavy tank. Got all the detailing about the kit there. Some nice box art. Got a couple of the paint schemes on the side there. Uh, I'll show you a better look on the instructions. Some of their other kits. All the sprues. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So, let's take a look inside. So, first of all, we have got this book with the instructions inside. Let's take a look at that first. So, we've got the instruction manual. We have a very small decal sheet. And last but not least, we have some metal tow cables, which is a cool addition. So yeah, um, the reason why there's so little decals, I'm pretty sure, is because um, there were only eight of these tanks ever produced, and none of them ever saw combat, so yeah, they were only prototypes, so there were never actually any in combat, so this is going to be a sort of what-if tank, what if this thing actually saw combat in World War II. So there we've got some tips about applying decals, removing photo etch, the required paints, all that stuff. Uh, there's the parts list there. And step one looks like just basic hull assembly, all the suspension, more suspension, got drive sprocket and the idler wheels. And then it comes with a handy um, jig for the track so you don't have to estimate how you're assembling them which will be useful later so there you can see the jigs how they work and then you can easily assemble those and then you put all the road wheels in return idlers and things return rollers uh, then it's just more hull details got some hatches uh, add-on track armor and we've got the engine deck here, and the front plate and everything. More hull details. Got the fenders and the stowage boxes, exhausts, all that stuff. And then, got the other rest of the fenders. All that stuff, attaching the fenders, and the side skirts. And then we move on to the turret, got all the hatches. Uh, machine guns, the cupola, and also these really big rangefinders, which are quite cool. Then we have the main body of the turret and the mantlet. You can, it's an optional option to have the dust covers on there, or you can leave them off and have just the metal gun mantlet. Uh, gun barrel. Uh, rear plate of the turret and then attaching the turret and then we have the paint schemes we've got this two-tone here which looks quite cool this olive drab one with the lining and then just a plain olive drab one so yeah we'll have to see which paint scheme I decide to do but whichever one it is you can leave your suggestions down in the comment section and now let's have a look at all the screws, but actually, before we do this, I'll have a look at the main hull. Here's the jigs I was talking about earlier for assembling the tracks. Yes, you can see there's the little holes and everything, so you can test fit the idler and the sprocket. Then we've got the actual hull. It's quite a big tank, not necessarily um, very wide, it's very long. Although it's going to be a lot wider because the tracks are quite thick and it's got some quite big fenders. So it's not as skinny as it seems. 
and sprue number one looks like all the tracks and it looks like we're gonna have to use the knife for this so they're not rubber tracks they're individual track links but luckily instead of having all of them being this small we've got big long strips so you don't have to assemble each one independently which is good next up we've got the main body of the turret if I can open that up, there we go it's got some quite ni nice steel texturing on there the huge range finders which are pretty cool nice part there then it looks like fenders mainly if I can open this let's have a look there we go right so we've got the fenders the side skirts the storage boxes and the sprocket mounts not sure what these are I think these might be the mud flaps next up we have this looks like gun gun parts so we have the mantlet the gun barrels, one with the dust cover, one without it, and sides of the mantlet, the mantlet details, all that stuff. Next up, we have the engine deck, quite a nice detail there. Our exhausts, that looks like the back of the hull. Pretty cool. In this one we have the bottom of the turret, the dust cover mantlet, more mantlet parts, other details. Not really sure what all these are at the moment. We'll have to have a look when we build it. Next up this just looks like a detail screw from here, except for a couple of parts. Right. Lots of small details on this one. Got the front of the hull. And then everything else on here is just a bunch of really small details. Once again, very nice steel texturing on there. And then in here. We have the wheels and things. These are identical, so I'll only, I'll only show you one. Uh, we've got the sprockets, all the road wheels, all that good stuff. Spare add-on track armor there. Suspension arms, uh, return rollers. And yeah, the, those two sprues are identical, so I won't show you both of them. And last but not least, we have the clear parts, there's not many of them, uh, I'm not sure why but the Commander's Cooper is in a clear part, uh, I wouldn't know why because I'm not an expert at this sort of stuff, but yeah, that's, that's all the sprues. So, yeah, there's a lot of parts in that one. But should be a good kit. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a build video on it, definitely. Uh, at the moment, I'm just working on the Tiger build video, so you can expect that soon. I've just got a little bit more work to do, mainly just assembling the turret. And yeah, let me know about what paint scheme I should do. And yeah, that is the Tarcom T29E3. So yeah, expect a build video out a couple weeks, maybe. And... As I said in the previous
tiger video I said I would split the videos up so I can do assembly painting weathering so I can split up the videos so yeah that's gonna be it for this video I uh, hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like if you haven't already subscribe to the channel we've just passed 120 subscribers I can't thank you enough because yeah it's amazing never expected to get this far so yeah let's aim for 200 this year hopefully and yeah, see you all next time.